Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel. In this lesson, we shall be discussing the detailed analysis of the anvil and the hammer by Kofi Awuno. The poem talks about the clash of two cultures, and the two cultures in question are the African culture and the Western culture. Due to civilization and colonization, the African culture has been subjected to twists and bends, leading to a change in the norms and the general way of life of the people of the African continent. The poem has 21 lines and two contrasting parts. The first part describes a conflict between the African culture and modernization. The second part, on the other hand, offers a solution to the conflict. Let's now take a detailed analysis of the lines contained in the poem. Caught between the anvil and the hammer, in the forging house of a new life, transforming the pangs that delivered me into the joy of new songs. Here, our poetic speaker likens Africans to a piece of a metal that needs to be shaped into a different form. Just as the anvil and the hammer works to shape a piece of metal into a different shape, same way our poetic speaker believes that instead of discarding and rejecting the African culture, Africans should use the Western culture or Western ideas to shape and redefine their own culture to create a new Africa. The forging house is a place where transformation takes place. This forging house represents schools, churches, and places where Africans learn the ways of the Western culture. Like every new birth, this transformation comes with a, the pain of delivery and a new birth calls for jubilation and merrymaking. The trapping of the past, tender and tenuous, woven with fiber of sisal and washed in the blood of the goats in the fetish heart. Here, our poetic speaker portrays the old African way of life and traditional practices. Unfortunately, this tender and tenuous nature of the African culture has been overshadowed by civilization and modernity. The jargon of a new dialectic comes with the charisma of the perpetual search on the outlaw's heels. Here, our poetic speaker tells us that, as a result of the influences of the two cultures, the African continent has been rebirthed. As a result, we see the importation of a new culture and language, and this new culture has carelessly violated the African culture, all in the name of civilization and modernization. So the old days for us, our fathers, that we can wear them under our new garment. After we have washed ourselves in the whirlpool of many rivers estuary. Here, our poetic speaker appeals to his ancestors to sow the old days for him, so that he can wear them under his new garment. The old days refers to the African culture and their way of life, while our new garment refers to the Western culture and their way of life. Moreover, Kofi Awuno tells us that he is not totally against Africans identifying with the Western culture, but he is of the view that Africans should make the African culture the foundation upon which all other cultures will be built. The many rivers estuary represents or refers to the many new experiences which the Africans are exposed to due to an increase in contact of Africans with the Western culture 
as a result of education and religion. Therefore, Africans should embrace both cultures as they have the significant role to play in transforming an old African into a new African. We hear their songs and rumors every day. Determined to ignore this, we use snatches from their tunes, make ourselves new flags and anthems, while we live high the banner of the land and listen to the reverberation of our songs in the splash and moan of the sea. Here, our poetic speaker admits that though they prefer to hear and listen to foreign music at the expense of African songs, they are now determined to embrace their cultural values and work toward promoting it by making themselves new flags and anthems while they lift the banner of the land high. This will indeed make them see the superiority of the African culture as against the foreign lifestyle. In a nutshell, Kofi Awuna appeals to the black world to trace and embrace their roots by always defending and promoting African identity and heritage everywhere they find themselves. Thanks for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video. So we'll meet again. Do enjoy the rest of our videos.